So we will stand up all together, raise our lights up to the sky with faith and love in our hearts. We will embark. Oh, oh, oh. We will give. Hello my fellow Latter-day Saints, Kenzie Retro, the woman entertainer, the most inspirational woman in all of Asia Day, and it's Wednesday reactions time. Now, in honour of Pokemon, the movie I Choose You, coming out on DVD this past Monday with the Steelbook, with the Blu-ray Steelbook coming out on April 30th, I'm going to be getting the Blu-ray Steelbook. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with getting the DVD first as well. But anyway, watch Mojo. I'm going to be reacting to another top 10. It is a top 10 for the top 10 Pokemon films. This was done back in 2016 before this, before the I Choose You movie came out. Now, I will say the, 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 the video will have footage from the Pokemon films. So, so as far as copyright goes, credit, credit for footage all goes to the Watch Mojo team and of course the Pokemon company for for letting them use the footage. But anyway, in any case, um, in any case, here we go. This time, the pocket monsters are dominating the big screen. You know what? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Pokemon films. For this list, we'll be ranking the cinematic releases of the hit anime series based on a mixture of fan votes, mm -hmm. popularity, mm -hmm. and our own personal preference. Ooh. 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 Number 10, Pokemon 3, The Movie. I would have to see this one was my favorite out of the first three. Kicking off our list is actually one of the darkest movies in the franchise. And after her father disappears, a young girl's distress summons the mysterious unknown. I still to catch those in Pokemon Go coming think of it. <laughs> they bring her every fantasy to life, mm -hmm. including summoning the legendary Pokemon Entei, who she believes I to be the reincarnation of her late father. Her wishes start a chain reaction that threaten those around her, not to mention the kidnapping of Ash's mother. Ooh. All of it leads to a fierce battle with Entei, the return of fan favorite Charizard, yeah, and a really Charizard hard lesson about dealing with grief. I can't believe it! Number 9, Pokemon, Genesect and The Legend Awakened. I want to go home. Huh? You, got, you talked. You got to. When will scientists learn that creating artificial Pokemon always ends with lots of things getting blown up? <laughs> Foreshadowing of a future entry in this top 10. When an army of robotic bug Pokemon known as Genesect go on a rampage, it's time for the original man made Pokemon to come and lay the smack down. I Speaking can't of allow which! This anymore. If you do not stop now, I will defeat you. As always, Wasn't seeing you two kick ass is a treat, but film? it was the reveal of his mega evolution that was the real treat. <laughs> mega evolution! You stubbornly refuse to understand. <laughs> Number eight, Pokemon Destiny Deoxys. Rayquaza! They are out in Rayquaza's out in range now with Pokemon Go. The seventh film in the Pokemon franchise finally answers the age-old question. Is there life out there beyond the vacuum of space? Yes, and his name is Deoxys, the DNA Ooh. Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> While pursuing its lost Those comrade, cool. it engages with the destructive Rayquaza in what could be the world's greatest Pokemon grudge match. Yes! Oh! Oh, that one's gonna hurt! As usual, Ash and company just happen to be caught in the middle and try to quell the raging battle. Why does that not surprise me? That's um, every Pokemon film ever! Honestly, quickly. Number seven, Pokemon Ranger and the Temple of the Sea. Oh, this is a tough one to watch. 
Released in conjunction with a Pokemon Ranger DS game, this movie has it all. Robot pirates, mm -hmm. undersea temples, mm -hmm. one of the cutest Pokemon you've ever seen, and Ash becoming what appears to be an underwater Super Saiyan. I'm taking you are? Let's see you try. Despite the strange premise, the film does have stunning visuals, awesome legendary Pokemon cameos, and a narrative that just Come might over. your heartstrings I have if three you of those. let it. Beautiful to behold and often surprisingly funny, this unorthodox entry is definitely one to check oh, out. Oh, oil lord. 400 candies to evolve whale into into Whalelord! That was a pretty cool one as well. Darkrai. What a nice looking chap! Fans Team Rocket showing up again! The first in a trilogy of films was released, <laughs> each of which gave us the iconic masters of time and space, Dialga and Palkia. In this installment, the nightmare Pokemon Darkrai is hounded by the locals of a town. But it turns out they have bigger problems when Dialga and Palkia decide to make it their own personal playground. And they aren't playing nice. Oh boy! <laughs> Number 5. Pokemon Jirachi Wishmaker. Hi, I'm Max. Oh, so cute! Hello, Max. Back on the subject of adorable, so isn't Jirachi just the cutest, except one. of course for the giant eye in his stomach and the ability to create corrupted versions of legendary Pokemon. <laughs> wow! Then I guess it gets considerably less cute. Ash has to protect the wish-making Pokemon from a former Team Magma scientist determined to take control oh, of Mudok. Team Magma, Team Magma on, made a mockery of my work, but finally I'll show them! What it creates instead is far from the original and twice as deadly. The only thing Yikes. scarier is May's lullaby. Is it bad that I got Pokemon them? Heroes. Latios and Latios! What's worse than a monstrous fake Pokemon? How about zombie Pokemon? In the franchise's fifth cinematic outing, two members of Team Rocket hunt after the two legendary guardians of a canal-filled town. Upon their capture, all hell breaks loose, including tsunamis and, yes, undead Pokémon rising to cause all kinds of mayhem. Luckily, Honestly, Ash and company are there to save the day, and he even manages to snag a kiss at the end. Wasn't that Latias disguised as a human? Okay, on second thought, we're not gonna touch this one. <laughs> Ash, you lucky spot! Number three, Pokémon, Lucario and the Mystery of Mew. I found the gods with this one as one of the best. If there was ever a Pokemon popular enough to take Pikachu's role as the franchise mascot, it would have to be this little guy. He's able to sense, speak, and react due to his connection with the aura. I'm really glad you're coming along to help me find Pikachu. Ash and company encounter him during their time at a city's Renaissance Festival, where mm -hmm. a thrilling mystery involving both the Pokemon, Mew, and an ancient war suddenly surfaces. <laughs> There's a lot for every Poké fan to enjoy in this film, yeah. mainly due to Lucario just being so damn cool. Reggie Ice. There's a Reggie Ice. Reggie. There's no Reggie point trying to reason with it. Let's backtrack. Lucario. <laughs> Number two, Pokémon the Movie 2000. Coolest intro ever. Let's get. So apparently, Ash is a savior. Who saw that coming? Oh, all health broke this exactly While exploring the region of Johto, Ash discovers that it's his destiny to save the world, all while trying to stop the three legendary the birds from destroying them themselves, down. as well as a Pokemon collector who's dead set on capturing the enigmatic Lugia. For those who were just getting used to the idea that there were more than 150 Pokemon, this was a big deal. Yeah. I remember watching this in the cinema, and I was blown away. The action is strong, like the music is a delight, and we even get to see Misty get jealous. Oh, that was hilarious. Before we reveal our number hilarious. one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Here we go. I'll see us in the jewel of war. I definitely need to get the Pokemon in the collection. I'm not about doing that, though. Zora, the blue gets... It's Raikou! Woohoo! My first legendary. You're safe with me, Celebi. 
Number one, Pokemon the first movie. Was there any Pokemon doubt as to what would be the top? Eliminated. The clone shall inherit the world. You can't do this. I won't let you. The movie that set the standard and gave us one hell of an introduction to Mewtwo, one of the greatest Pokemon villains and anti-heroes of all time. Oh, yeah. Pokemon. Damn Disgusted well by the fact that he's nothing more than a clone, this vengeful psychic type declares war on humanity and a mission to clone all Pokemon in existence. This is my world now. Uh -oh. <laughs> With strong animation and a moral center about nature versus nurture, it has a special place amongst fans, yep. even if it's just for that brief moment when we all thought that Ash was dead. <laughs> 20 years later, that still gets me in tears! Do you agree with our list? You can't just make up names. Which Pokemon film is your favorite? For more top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Thank you, everyone. I couldn't have wished for anything better. Now, ideally, if it were up to me, I would have put Pokemon 3 top 5 at least. And maybe I would have put Pokemon Heroes in the top 5 as well. I'd probably have Pokemon... I, like, I would rearrange it and have the top 5 being number 5 Pokemon 3. No. Number five, Pokemon Forever, the one with Celebi. Number four being Pokemon 3, and keep the top three the same. That's all I'd do. That's all I'd do to redo that list. If I was redoing that list, I mean, I, I could maybe put the I Choose You movie in there as well, if I were to redo this list. But to, if, I, if I were to do this as a top ten, what I would need to do is I would need to watch every single Pokemon film, and then rank them from there. But in any case, an interesting, an interesting thing about the um, the Pokemon, um, the the first Pokemon film, there was actually a deleted scene regarding the origin of Mewtwo, where they talk about the Tears of Life, where which um, which helped bring, spoiler alert, Ash back to life in the first film, but. Why that scene got cut, I don't know. Because when I, because looking back on it, when I watched it for the first time, I was wondering why the Pokemon were crying and why the tears brought them back to life. But I didn't, I didn't think much of it at the time. But in any case, gotta catch them all indeed, because I'm gonna get every single Pokemon film. No pressure then, but well, I'm sure I'll manage. Anyway, that does it for today. What do you want me to react to next? I'm going to think of it. In two weeks from now, the new, uh, the second half, of, the second half of season eight of The Walking Dead gets underway. So that's what I'm going to react to next week. Next week, I'm going to react to the trailer for the second half of season eight of The Walking Dead, which gets underway on the 25th of February. So. I will be reacting to that when it comes out, but in any case, this is it. I will see you guys tomorrow for more Pac-Man World and Throwback Thursdays, but before that, if you enjoyed what you saw, hit the thumbs up, and if you want to continue keeping up, if you want to continue following my channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom, and make sure you click the bell to turn on all notifications so you don't miss anything I do on the channel. Uh, yesterday I did Cuphead, which you can see on the left. And on the right, you've got my reactions playlist. So, uh, like I say, tomorrow I've got Pac-Man World lined up. Friday, another edition of the podcast. Uh, and uh, my, um, the upload speed, um, so my upload times are going to be a bit um, 
uh, fluctuating until I get uh, faster internet because the upload speed wasn't as fast as I was wasn't as slow as what I was anticipating, given the fact that I'm in my, given the fact I'm in my new place. But in any case, I will see you guys again very soon. I'll see you tomorrow for uh, Throwback Thursdays. See y'all. Have a fantastic day. Peace out. Stay faithful.